Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, The Penalty from 1920. It's the second film in the American Silent Horror Films collection, is directed by Wallace Worsley, and stars Lon Chaney and Doris Pawn. There's a YouTube channel called Cinema Sins that believes that no movie is without sin. They do humorous recaps of films while pointing out their sins, and it isn't always an objective thing, but that's all part of the fun. Anyway, one of the things they sin for is the film having a character say the title in dialogue, somewhere, to which they always respond, roll credits. Well, they'd get to do that sin on the penalty because it falls into this trap just a few lines from the end of the film while one of the main characters is dying in the arms of another character. I'm being vague on purpose. This movie is good. It's Snow the Man Who Laughs, but it's still pretty good and I like it plenty. Lon Chaney plays a man who, as a child, was involved in an accident and had both his legs hurriedly amputated above the knee by a first-time doctor who did so out of a rookie mistake. And although the senior doctor backed him up, the boy heard the truth and has held on to it his whole life until he is now a man who goes by the name Blizzard, the king of San Francisco's underworld. He's been playing the long game and after 27 years sees a way to get back at that doctor through his naive daughter. There's also a master plan to rob the city that involves hundreds of thousands of malcontents, hundreds of thousands of the same style hats, and lots of gunplay. But let's talk about the thing that stands tall above the rest of this movie, and that's the physical performance by Lon Chaney. The Man of a Thousand Faces wasn't just satisfied with having a pliable face. In this film, he spends the entire runtime on his knees with his feet bound to the tops of his legs to have him resemble a double amputee at the knees, which basically means he's going around using his patellas as feet. Not only must have this been painful and required great physical leg strength, but also great upper body strength as he demonstrates multiple times throughout the film. It is very impressive and jaw-dropping at the same time. So it's not just his face that went through the ringer in his career, it was his whole damn body. My hat is off to Lon Chaney in this film, which is partly why I'm giving it a solid B+, because that physical performance is the stuff of legend, as was Lon Chaney. Join me tomorrow when we talk the next film in the American Silent Horror Film Collection, 1927's The Cat and the Canary. See y'all then.